Welcome to Barbecue for Beginners UK. This is going to be brined chicken. Let's get started. We're back again. This week we are going to be doing a free range chicken from uh, Kitson's, well, it's Five Houses uh, Butchers over at um, Crayfon. The Kitson's and Sons Butchers. This is a, let's see, it is three. Three kilo chicken, it's a free range chicken, pricey, almost 20 quid. But we're gonna spatchcock this one and then we're gonna uh, put it in a brining bag which we've got here. And I'm gonna put in some uh, rosemary, which you can see here. Just rosemary, Schwartz rosemary, and then we've got some sage. Tablespoon of each, thyme, some few bay leaves that we've got left over and a lot of salt, 750 grams of salt. It doesn't taste salty, this is gonna help the chicken retain a lot of the moisture. So that's, that's actually kosher salt. You don't have to use kosher salt. I wouldn't use table salt, probably um, more than sea salt, something like that. Kosher salt, because I've got a ton of it from my other bits and bobs that I do. Okay, so we're gonna spatch cup this. Let's get it out of the packet. Got some uh, stainless steel um, shears that I got from Got them online like most of the stuff I have, but you can just go to a garden centre and get some secateurs you could use for this. I've seen videos um, where they've done that. We're just going to cut down either side of the chicken. These aren't as sharp as they used to be. I guess you could get your butcher to do this, but I'm all about doing everything myself. And there we have it. That's out. It took a while, but we got there. Okay, now it's just a case of flipping her over. And then pressure. One spatchcocked chicken. Okay, for the brine, we have got from Tesco vegetable stock. We've got uh, four packs of these. So these can go in. The whole purpose of the browning is just to keep, um, obviously, flavour, but it's going to keep. The uh, chicken a lot more moist than it would be just at a regular roast. Um, originally, I was going to do a turkey, but uh, guess what? I didn't have any. Guess I could have ordered one, but I was in a bit of a rush. So. In goes our stock. Four of these. Okay, so I'm going to put in the rosemary. A tablespoon of rosemary. A tablespoon of the sage. That goes in, and a tablespoon of the thyme, that goes in, bay leaves, and finally the salt, that goes in. I'm going to give that a mix, I'm going to get that on the hob and warm that through. Okay, I've got the mixture in the pan, I'm just going to bring that up to the boil, just to get those flavours incorporated. Okay, our brine's cooled off. I'm going to pour it into the chicken. Got some ice water here as well just to keep it nice and cool. Probably move this round from time to time just to make sure the whole of the birds got nice coverage of the of the brine. So I'm 
gonna sit overnight. We'll see you in the morning. We'll get the barbecue fired up. Okay, turkey has uh, been in the fridge overnight in its, uh, in its brine. I've uh, washed the turkey carefully and uh, for hygiene reasons, everything's been cleaned up, washed down, made hygienic. Obviously, raw chicken, gotta be careful. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of olive oil onto the chicken and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a dusting of some rubs. Just to make the rub stick. Now, I've got a few different rubs which I picked up um, from the States when I was over there. You can, you can get chicken rubs online, um, usual places, Amazon, places like that. Some butchers have chicken rubs. Um, these ones, as I say, I got in America. I'll show you them in a second. Cause, so mine's gonna be kind of a mixture of the rubs because <laughs> to be honest, I couldn't decide which ones to use in there. This one I got uh, in a restaurant called Rudy's, Rudy's Turkey Rub pretty tasty, we've used that on beer can chicken in a previous video. Then we have the Weber, this is beer can chicken rub, smells fantastic. And then there's this one, which I got uh, when I was in the States recently. This one is by um, McCormick Grill Mitts and it's honey hickory rub. I'm sure you can get these online, probably pricey because they are American, they're probably imported, but you can get some, I'm sure, equally good ones in this country or you can even make your own probably do a video about rubs uh, sometime in the not too distant future. So anyway, I'm gonna sprinkle a few of these rubs onto our bird. Again, not a huge amount. I'm just gonna give it a bit of a bit of a dusting. I'm gonna do both sides. I should have done the other side first really. In fact, I'll flip it over now and do the other side first. Presentation side. One thing about doing the uh, spatchcock, you can actually get the flavours into your meat, which is always nice. It's still quite damp from uh, from the brine, so I'm not gonna bother with too much oil. Good old dusting. Maybe not, it's a bit caked up. Not to worry, we'll just use these two. Okay, flip that back over. Let's go across it again, this one. When I put it on the barbecue, when I took these wings inside there, I may have to put a bit of tin foil on some parts of it as well, just to stop the edges burning. Okay, that is ready to go on, on to the barbecue. I'm going to be using these uh, big green egg uh, charcoal starters today. I've used them a few times, and they are pretty efficient, I'll tell you that. Gentle glow if you like. I'm going to heat the barbecue up to uh, well, 275-300 we want it, it can take a couple of hours in here but uh, like I said earlier it's the uh, temperature of the internal temperature of the meat that we're interested in. So we'll get this fired up and see you back here once we're up to temperature. Okay we are approaching 350 degrees which is our cooking temperature so we're going to put the uh, chicken on the barbecue, it's already been cleaned in there. I'm going to use one of these silicone mats just because it might be easy to move the bird around once it's cooking. Let's sit on there. And she goes. Okay, I'm going to leave that for an hour or so, then we'll check on how she's doing. Okay, hey, we're an hour into the cook. Let's have a look at how we're getting on. Oh, she's looking pretty good, so we're just gonna give this a little base with some butter. Just to keep that nice and juicy. Maybe we'll spin around a little bit as well, just to make sure we've got even cook. Too bad. 
burn the door, in fact. later we are done wish you had smelly vision because it smells really good okay let's get the probes out rest so time to try. I'm not sure where to go in. Let's take this leg off. See it came off so easy. Beautiful. Let's, uh, I'm not a professional butcher or a chef or anything like that so forgive my knife skills. super juicy which is what we're aiming for. Take this piece off and give it a taste. Mmm. I don't see that but excuse me for eating my own mouthful. Talking with my mouthful. That is so juicy. You can taste the smoke, it's not overpowering, and um, the browning definitely helps. You see how juicy that is in there. So good. Okay, guys. Okay, I'll get this cut up. Got some guests coming over in a little while. I'm going to have this with some uh, mac salad and uh, I'm going to finish off with a little beer tasting. Okay guys, that's the chicken done. It tastes great, really happy with it. Little feature I thought I'd do on the end of my videos is um, a little sample of some beers. This one is uh, from Helmsley Breweries, which is in North Yorkshire. Um, I was there during the week with the wife and uh, came across these, these beers. Um, New one to me, so let's give it a try. It's called High PA. See what they did there? High PA. Let's give it a little pour out. I presume it's, it's an IPA, and they called it a High PA. Let that settle. Okay, we'll give it a try. Mmm, that is very good. It's um, got a bit of a kick. It's 5.5%. It's not really what I would class as, I don't know, it is in it, yeah, it's an IPA, but it's more uh, more uh, malty, I would say, more like, a, more like a bitter, but very, very nice, nevertheless. So that's uh, the high PA from Helmsley Brewers. Helmsley Brewing Company even. Anyway, thanks for watching the video everybody. Um, please give me a like, comment, good or bad, I don't mind. Criticism's good if it's, you know, not too, not too harsh. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, share with your friends if you wish. Cheers, bye for now.